Hey y'all, it's Billy Hitler. Today we're gonna look at robbing trains. Mister. Hello. You remind me of a feller I used to know. You can start this at any station. You gotta head on up and buy yourself a ticket to Riggs. Riggs is one of the keys here in an effort to get away. Okay, safe travels. So this is the simplest part of the train robbery. You're gonna buy yourself a ticket, get on the train, light your up a cigarette, and get rolling down the track. You're gonna lean up so your shotgun and rifle doesn't poke into your back. And then you're gonna have a, a lovely, lovely ride on down the rails. So we're gonna speed our ride along a little bit here and then we're gonna pull into rigs. Love it, good looking station. You see these things, but you never see one in action like this or get to use one. So good, good on the game for letting us do it. All right, when you get in here, you're just going to get right on off. And your horse will be here before you, which makes zero amount of sense because if my horse gets to the station before I get to the station, why the hell wouldn't I just ride the horse? But you can't rob your horse. Well, you could rob your horse, but you won't get much money. So I get it's a game. First thing you do is head to your saddlebag. You're going to whip out one of the, whatever, you could use a bandana, but a, a nice mask that you obtain from the fence is a good way to go. No one seems to care too much about this in the station. I would think it would send alarm bells, but no. The other thing you want to make sure, my friends, is that you have a rifle on your back. And I like a 12 gauge for close in work. So you can do uh, one or the other or both. Now, you're going to wait for the train to leave. And while you're waiting, you want to level up. So get on in your satchel and get yourself something to drink, maybe some chips or some crackers, no chips, crackers, green beans, maybe some moonshine, some cocaine gum, you know, just the regular stuff that you would eat right before you robbed a train. So there we are, trying to get everything leveled up. And that looks okay. You could level up more, certainly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sit here and think about ourselves, our lives. We're going to make sure that we have dynamite. Okay, I'm going to talk about that. My rifle's ready. I got it. You need dynamite because you're going to have to blow open the safes on the train. And there's at least two, and there could be more. I think there could be three at some point. So you're going to want to visit the help. fence and buy yourself some dynamite and sell everything that you stole on the train. Do not leave it near the campfire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So All around yours. eight pieces of dynamite you can buy right there. The important thing to do before you rob any trains if you actually want to get some money. So now we have everything, we're ready to rock, and now we're just gonna look around, take in the scenic beauty. You can listen for the train horn because when the train horn goes off, that means the train's about to leave and you need to be ready to run and jump. So I like to look at the wagons and I think, what kind of horses are those? And then I think, you would think the guy with the bag would yell, hey, there's a man with a mask on the water tower. Anyway, there goes the horn. It's our signal to jump. Now you might think you have time to mess around, but you don't. You need to run and gun. You need to jump. Jump a little better than that. And you need to run and uh, jump. You need to get up in that engineer's area and you need to throw him out. Now, if you're super cool, you throw him out while you're hey, over the bridge so he can plummet, you know, through the air. But I'm just trying to take care of business here. So this is uh, one of my attempts and my theory here was I was gonna pull closer to that side than this side because my horses keep running in the middle of that river and drowning. It's happened to me twice twice it hasn't happened so i thought well, i'm gonna go a little farther out we're gonna see why this idea wasn't the best so what i'm trying to do here is get my final bandit uh mission done so i can get my uh, bandit i'm going for the uh, leather holsters and all that stuff so you're gonna hit the y or the triangle and you're gonna run out of here and immediately go to your rifle and what you don't want to do is what i did you want to be somewhere where you can get some good shots off this is not that area so, I'm left triggering it and I'm looking. I've realized I'm going to waste all my eyeballs waiting for someone to come out. So then I thought, okay, they're shooting at me. I got to run and jump and then get them here and I start marking them. Forehead, forehead, forehead. And if you're really cool, you can get all these guys in one go. And I guess I didn't pull the trigger or something. So now I thought, well, I guess I'll shoot them the old fashioned way where you just go to town. This is me going to town. There's a kneecap shot, butt shot. I don't know if I pulled the trigger or not. Gut shot. 
Uh, stomach shot, stomach shot, and slow mo, and me being cool. Bingo. All right, we're done. We took them all out. So the first thing you want to do, there's cabinets, there's chests. If you haven't robbed anything recently, then go ahead and hit all these. If you're me and you've been robbing trains nonstop, you might be full up. So everything I open up tends to, I can't take it because I'm full. I do like looting uh, the, the guards because they tend to have stuff I need. So like here's a chest, it's got, it's got in there. I missed it, but I couldn't take it. I know that. So then we have this cabinet and we can't take that either. So I'm gonna head on over and loot Johnny Guard just to get it out of the way. I also, when I do this, I'm looking for silvery hats, shiny hats, in case there's a cool hat that I can pick up. For some reason, I have a thing for a hat collection. So now you wanna go down to your dynamite and you wanna right trigger it to put it on the safe. Let's see if I do it right. No, I put it somewhere else, but it doesn't care. You, you then have to hit the uh, triangle to light it. You hold it. I'm done. I give up. Okay. Sorry for the lull. I'm waiting to see myself do it. Then when you hear it go on, uh, the, there it is. The fuse is lit. Now, you should run farther than this, but I was afraid they would shoot me. So I hid here, which obviously isn't far enough away. So then you go back and loot. Now, this safe doesn't always have that much stuff in it as this safe does it. So then there's a cabinet down here you need to check. Of course, I can't take anything because I'm full up. Start sticking stuff in my mask. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing voices. I'm not seeing where they're at. So I'm now going to run across. Don't loot outside the train because you're asking to be shot. So what you want to do is go over here and try to loot from inside this car, which I'll probably do. Also looking for hats, also looking for guns. These guys never have anything cool, but you never damn know. There's my horse, okay? He's on the bridge and I'm thinking, ah, I made it. The horse is with me. I'll totally get out of here. So here is safe number two, usually has more money than safe number one. So now I'm gonna right trigger onto the safe. Then I'm gonna hold my triangle button which my dyslexic self sometimes calls the Y button. I'm gonna run to the other car safely. I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna get everything I can out of the safe. So there could be some money to be made here. There will be a bounty on you one way or the other. My mask doesn't seem to help in these situations. I do it anyway, but, um, especially if I'm running away. So now I'm picking up some cash. I'm gonna look at this cabinet down here. And then uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to start robbing people on the train. I'll let you take a look at some of that. Oh, like, where did this guy come from? But I know where he's going. Straight to hell. All right. Good, good. Do I loot that guy or let him go? I'm curious to see. All these train robbers are bleeding into one each into one another. All right. Now, uh, chests are sometimes good. Can't ever let a chest go by. Yeah, I got a little something out of there. What did I get? 90 cents. Now, to rob, I switch to pistols. You only need one, really. And then you hold the triangle button and threaten them, and then they throw money at you. Poof! It's like uh, going through a, tr a toll. They throw money into the basket. So this is where you can make some money. Some of these folks are carrying 10 bucks. Let's just take a look here and see what kind of money we're gathering up. Is that ten dollars right there? Gold necklace. Of course, our honor's going down, but this is uh, something I have to do. So I am planning on working my honor back up after I get through with these missions. As a bandit. So at this point in the game, you have fulfilled your requirement of robbing a train, and you got to rob five um, for the bandit. And this is my fifth. We're gonna look at one more I did. I'm, that is a great lesson on what not to do or why not to do a certain way. All right, we're gonna speed up. You rob the rest of these folks. They give you money. They moan and whine. And then we'll head on back to the back here. And then we have more cars with more cabinets and more safes. All right. So after you get all this, guess what it's time for? You gotta take the big run. Oh, one more chest. You can't let it go, can you, Billy? Oh, and we 
only have one more uh, thing to blow up. So this is a great reason why you need more than a few sticks of dynamite. You want to see what we get out of this one? Let's see. All right. I press it on right. I'm lighting it correctly. I'm going to get the hell out of the way. I'm going to turn around and run back. I went to my rifle to make sure that I didn't accidentally put another stick of dynamite down, which I do occasionally. Any money in here? Hell no. All right, now I'm rifling up because I might run into somebody on my way home. So here's my thought. See my horse? He's at the front, right? Is it right? I gotta make sure I'm pointing the right way. Am I still trying to get money? Oh my God. Come on, Billy. I'm about to run to the front of the train. Okay, yes, my, my horse is at the front of the train, right? And we saw him on the train tracks. Oh, okay, I'm glad I didn't fast forward. This thing always has good stuff in it. Don't ever forget this back wardrobe. It'll have more than a few things that you're gonna want. All right, now we're out. Now we're going to sprint. Oh my God, sardines, really? La la la. All right, now we're gonna sprint through the train. We're running. We don't want them to shoot at us. My theory is, but wait, my horse now just is not in front of me anymore. Where is my horse? Okay. So, the, by pulling this close to this side of the track, these boys are now on the hill, and they're here. Every time I've done this, I've managed to walk off the train, run up the tracks, and get away. Every time. They've never come across the river. So, by pulling up this far, they were on top of me. Now, I'll also tell you, my horse never made it back. And um, I believe that I got in a gunfight and lost this one. So now we're going to hit pause. That is robbing a train. Now let's take a look at a train not to rob. Okay, so I come up on this train and it is not a passenger train, correct? But I thought, why can't I just rob this one? Now if you're just going for uh, numbers of robberies, there's no reason not to rob that train. But if you're going for money, which you probably will most of the time, you are uh, not going to rob, want to rob this train because it's not worth it. So I'm like, I'm just going to take it. I jump up. I grab the guy. Now, cut that out. Throw him out the window. Look out. I'll talk to you later, my friend. Have a good fall. You need to leave right now. Hitting the wrong buttons. All right, now I'm hitting the triangle. And... So now, Please, to accelerate, you hit the X button, and I'm just heading on out the station. My horse that I only met minutes before, I believe I stole him from an explorer. Which made me pull up. I'm just gonna run back on, on the tracks, as you saw. And this time, I'm gonna run up on the tracks uh, halfway where I am always have always left the train, about right here. Am I going to stop? I'm going to leave it right there. Looks like it. Okay. So I'm heading back. I will not make you uh, live through this. But then at this point, I realize there's nothing to rob here. I'm pretty sure I can't get in those cars. Now, maybe I can, but there's no people. There's no safes. There's no chests. There's no cabinets. There's nothing. There's some cars. And there's some cars in the back. So... Uh, this is just to illustrate the point. You might not want to rob this kind of train. Also, this open, uh, these open cars, or you're begging to be shot right here if there's anyone that can get one off at you. So we'll fast forward through here. We'll head in the back. There's nothing in this car. There's nothing in this car. There's nothing in that car. I go all the way to the caboose, man. See if there's anything in the caboose. Hell no. Just this cabinet. That's it. And that's when I was like, okay, well, I robbed a train, but uh, my bounty is now higher than what I got off the train. So then let's run back up the train. So when you're done with your robbery, you can run down the tracks, try to run down the side where there are no Johnny Laws. And uh, if you're a lucky man, you have a smart horse and he's waiting on you. You might want to start whistling about now too. And I actually think I run up on a guy here. When I whistle, I sometimes hit that button by mistake. I'll tell you. 
All right, now I'm loading up in case I see anybody because I'm certainly hearing people. Now I'm thinking, where's my horse? Is he way down there? I see Law Dog. So I had to take a shot. Kneecap. Boy, he really should be stopped not running at that point. So I'm taking lead, so I run back up and I'm thinking, where's my horse? There's my horse. So I jump on that old boy and trot off. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Don't leave yet. There's something that is good to know. If you got a lot of, if you got a big bounty and a lot of law dogs on you, you can ride on up this track and there's a place you can stay the night if you want to, cook a little food if you need to, kind of re regroup and get everything back together. There's also some pigs in there and you uh, can get yourself a few pigs to, uh, you know, cook and then cook and save. So I'll let, I'll let it play so you can see where we're going here. It's over this ridge and it's a little to the right. I've got my rifle handy in case any uh, bounty hunters show out of, out of nowhere, which they tend to do. Yep. yep. And there it is. So be careful, get down there. Uh, I've come down here, I guess, more than a few times and there is usually a random person there. I've never met the guy that lived there, except in this time, I believe this is the guy that lives there. But I think no one's here, of course. I pull up, uh, you want to tie up your horse if you want him to get some uh, life back, uh, build up his course. So here's where it's at on the map, zoomed in. You can see it's off the trail, and then it's out a flat neck station, just to give you an idea. I have certainly robbed a train and then holed up here. So here's the pigs to the right. P.S. If you shoot someone, you can throw them in the pig pen and the pigs will eat the evidence. Also, at this location, if this guy shows up, you shoot him, you can loot him. I think he had a, that awesome hat on. And then you can throw him to the pigs and they'll eat the evidence. They'll be like, huh, very interesting. We, I think I know this guy. And uh, if you don't watch your back, they will think that you're feeding them slop. It's Sloppy Joe. So let's take one more look at him. Let's take another look at him here. That's what happens when the pigs go to town. Yikes. I might not raise pigs after I saw something like that. So, uh, there you go. Uh, there's fire to cook by. Crafts. There's a bed in there you can sleep in. Good stuff. All right, everybody. It's Billy Hale. This has been Robin a Terrain. I hope it's helped. Uh, hit subscribe. Let's build the channel up.